Hi everyone. So we're gonna do uh, something a little bit different today. I have a pork chop and this is my first time doing this recipe. And we're gonna discover at the end of this video if it's good or if it's bad. Between you and I, I'm gonna give you my honest truth. We're gonna do a pork chop with lima bean, ragu, and a peach and green olive tapenade on top. Let's get down to it. First things first, we're gonna do our lima, lima bean ragu. We're gonna start with onions. A little bit of olive oil. Onion goes in. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. I want that creaminess. I want that richness. I want. I want butter. I want butter. And look, it's swimming in fat. That's okay. We like fat. Fat is good. Fat is flavor. Fat is. Carrots and celery. So here we have our classic diapois in French. Cooking term for a mix of carrot, celery, and onions. It's gonna be very quick. Put it up, let it sweat a little. Give it a little swirl, 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 swirl. Let's put a little pinch of salt. Some, uh -huh. Let's chop up a little chili in there. I like chili, you don't have to put. I like to use chili in my recipe. She's a little bit. It's colorful, flavorful, it's perfect. Look at that. Amazing. This is getting translucent and great. We're gonna put lima beans. I want everything to be nice and hot. And we're gonna add some garlic. I have some garlic stamp that I blended myself. I, I like to use that in my recipes because it's less in your face than regular garlic. It's so mild, but so good. It adds luxury to your meals. This smells good. This smells good, right? But, yeah. So, the, the bar with, I could not vote maybe, sorry. Good, see, see. I make the bars and maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's add some thyme. And a little pinch of cumin. Just a little bit. Just to give it that. What is that flavor? So good. The trick with recipes is you want to balance flavor. You don't want that cumin there and it's in your face after and it disturbs the balance, the yin and the yang of this recipe. Oh my god. Okay, he glazed this with white thing. You don't need a lot of white wine, just a little bit. Once it's reduced, we have multiple layers of liquid. Now for white wine, and then we have our chicken stock. I did not add just a little bit of chicken stock. It adds flavor. If you don't have chicken stock, it's water. Once it's nice and reduced, we're gonna add some 35% cream. So now that it's nice and reduced, let's add our cream. A little bit more, a little pinch of salt. And then now we're gonna set it aside and let it simmer and reduce slowly. While this is cooking, on the side, simmering slowly and reducing. We're gonna sear our beautiful Canadian pork chop. Petal Quebec, Quebec pork chop. Look at that. Look how perfect it is. The season with some salt, both sides. Crack pepper on both sides. Again, you always want to put your meat on a different surface than where you cut your vegetables. This should be safe. Now, once your pan is nice and hot, add a little touch of oil. Clean it a lot. The pad you board. Away from me. Always away. Away from me. No touch it. Let it sear. Once it's seared, it's gonna unstick and we're gonna be able to manage it. Once it's done searing, we're gonna put it in the oven. I have my oven set at 350 at this moment. It is gonna take about six to 10 minutes. You want in a nice pan. I'll guide know people are gonna say, oh my God, you're eating pork paint, it's fine. If you wanna eat it well done, it's fine. If you want it medium, it's fine. Just do your preferred pre salt. I want it thick. Then let's turn it, look at that. Look at that beautiful sear, that beautiful color. This is what we want. No color, no flavor. Let's put some thyme on top. And that little knob of butter 
slight little bit of butt ass on top. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it goes in the oven. Two fifteen, six to ten minutes in the oven. We're gonna start doing our peach olive tapenade. This is a first time. This is where I'm like, I'm not sure about this, but for some reason, tapenade it goes great with something creamy and something heavy. It cuts through it. So, what we wanna do? I wanted to add a peach to my part. Let's see if it's gonna work. How could it not work? We want to cut it very thinly. I'm kind of going to make that tapenade by hand. Usually use a, a blender or a robo or a masher, but it's going to be a rough, rustic, delicious tapenade. A little touch of chicken in there. Why not? Why not? It's right there. I have it. And some herbs. In a bowl, we're going to add our olives. We're going to add our peach. A little touch of garlic with the knife. Let's go. Let's take some some fresh parsley. I feel like it's gonna be good. I feel like this this might work. I'm excited. I'm very excited for everyone to try. If you guys try it at home, but at least I hope it's fun to watch. And then some to mix it up. But this is gonna go on top of the pork, and I feel like it's gonna be excellent. I'm gonna have my station key. I'm gonna take out the pork, let it rest for a couple of minutes before we cut it. And we're gonna try this good for recipe. Be back. So, now that our ragu is nice and thickened, we wanna give it one last taste to see if it needs salt, if it needs pepper, or cumin. This is so good. It's so good. A pinch more salt. Just like that with a piece of bread, I'll be happy. We're gonna take it. Here's our pork top. Very nice. Very colorful. We're gonna put it on the warm. Such a, of that beautiful fat. And I want us to let it rest for uh, five minutes. The whole point of letting it rest is that beautiful tender meat. And that's good for beef or any type of meat you're doing. When you cook it, that heat goes around that meat and all your juice concentrate in the middle. When you let it rest, the meat has a chance to relax and all the juices goes back throughout the meat. And it makes your meat so juicy, so delicate, so beautiful, so perfect, so nice that it's worth the wait. Now, while this is resting, it's still cooking. It's still continuing to have that residual heat. And so it's important to let it cook. Let it rest. Give it a little siesta. We're making it sleepy, but a bit, because I'm going to slice you up and I'm going to eat you and it's going to be so good, that's so good. So our meat is rested. Let's take out the time. We don't need it. From the ragu also, we don't need it. Our lima bean ragu. We'll chop. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, look at that it's perfect it's literally perfect in the end to get it like what do you want more you want this sauce on top that's what you want. right on top now listen this is restaurant quality on a plate at home for your family and friends, or for yourself in front of a TV with a glass of, of wine or water or juice or beer. It's so juicy. The fact that we let it rest, you can see it's so juicy and gorgeous. I get keep getting them with me. Ah, this is a treat. Mm. That tapenade, it cuts through the richness of that sauce. This is heavenly. Mm. Then I was I successful to make you try and like green olives. You see guys, this is what I talk about. This is real home cooking. When you do things properly and you do things right, good thing happens. It's time for me to go play the water. I might win the water because I just did with this. This is amazing. 
And for me to be able to have someone that doesn't like two ingredients, two main ingredients of this dish, and say it's good, that to me, it's a win. So my question is, are you hungry now? 